Hi there, um, this is gonna be a pretty damn long video because we're gonna talk about the uh, guessing in circles, we're gonna talk about the complex plane, and we're also gonna be working with the fourth dimension uh, but with complex values. So, 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 let's start. Um, I gotta say that um, if you're just interested in how the guessing in circles work, you can stop watching after the very first minutes, but if you're here, um, you're a mathematician and uh, you're probably interested not in how things work, but why they work. They work. Um, so, let's start with the metric saying, which is a 4x4 matrix. We have Mozart in the background this time, because it's gonna take very, very long to do everything. Alright, so basically, I have circle um, the main diagonal uh, because the Gascogin uh, circle actually tells us that um, um, the eigenvalue are basically gonna be within the circles. Um, they're gonna be the center given by uh, the number of the main diagonal mm -hmm. and uh, the radius given by the uh, sum of the value outside uh, the diagonal, uh, but taken in the in module, so basically in absolute value. So what this actually means uh, is that we be we're basically going to have a circle, circle one, and center of the circle uh, is going to be nine. The radius of this circle is going to be given by the values outside the main diagonal um, so the sum of those values in module so basically in the absolute value so the absolute, va the absolute value of negative 1 plus the absolute value of 1 plus the absolute value of 1 is actually going to give us 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 3 there we go so circle 2 The circle 2 is actually going to be given uh, by center 8. Center 8. And a radius is going to be given by 1 plus uh, 1 plus 1. So 1 plus uh, that's it, 1 plus 1 which is basically 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 3. Circle 3 uh, is going to be given by center negative 8 and the radius may be given by uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So absolute value of negative 1 plus the absolute value of 1 plus the absolute value of negative 1 so basically 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 3 and the last circle circle 4 is gonna be given by center negative 9 and radius 1 plus 1 plus 1, so the absolute value of 1 plus the absolute value of negative 1 plus the absolute value of 1, so basically 1 plus 1 plus 1, so 3. There we go. So we can actually draw uh, those in the complex plane. I'm gonna use the Gauss notation here, so basically this is R and this is I M, so the, the complex. So basically, what this tells us is that, um, well, let's just do, I don't know. Let's just
right. There we go. Um, so basically what this tells us is that uh, circle 1 is going to be center 9 and radius 3, so 1, 2 and 3 1, 2 and 3 they have 1, 2 and 3, so like here and 1, 2 and 3, so like here so circle one is pretty much going to be like like this, All right? So this is gonna be circle one. Uh, circle two, center eight, so here. A radius three, so one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And then uh, three is gonna be here. And three is gonna be here. So basically the second circle is actually gonna be something roughly like Like this. Um, circle 3, center negative 8. There we go. Um, radius 3. So 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 1, 2, and 3. So this is like here. 1, 2, and 3. So basically here. So third circle is pretty much going to be like something like something like this and uh, circle 4 center negative 9 uh, radius 3 so 1, 2 and 3 one, two, and three. So three is actually here. Then three is actually here. So like something roughly like this. All right. So basically, um, this character. Gerskogin circles uh, tell us that um, our eigenvalues are gonna be somewhere in between those circles and um, this is actually very very useful uh, because I know what you're thinking you're thinking all right uh, can I just you know go to the matrix and um, search the eigenvalues like you know like how you do in the in normal linear algebra well, um, yes, you can, um, but this is supported up to uh, the four dimension, so up to uh, four by four matrix, because we have no formula for the fifth dimension, so uh, for a five by five matrix. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demonstrate you um, that uh, the eigenvalues are actually gonna be within those circles. It's gonna take quite some time to do that. Uh, because it involves a um, lot of calculus. All right, so um, let's start. Let's pretend we are in uh, our normal linear algebra class. So we want to search 
Uh, for the eigenvalue, so in order to search for the eigenvalue, we have to use the characteristical polynomial. So PA, the characteristic polynomial, lambda, is going to be given by uh, the determinant of A minus lambda ID, where ID is the identity matrix. So basically, let's do that. Um, so lambda ID uh, will be lambda times uh, the identity so 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and uh, 0 0 0 1 that is the identity which is going to give us uh, this matrix here lambda 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda, 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda, 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda. So now we do A minus lambda ID that we have just found. So basically we write back our matrix A, so 9, negative 1, 1, 1, 8, and negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8, uh, negative 1, and then 1, negative 1, 1, negative 9, minus uh, the lambda id that we have just found, so lambda 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda 0, 0, 0, 0, lambda, which is going to give us uh, this matrix here. Um, so basically it's going to give us um, 9 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 8 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8 uh, minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, uh, negative 9 minus lambda. All right. Um, so this is the matrix that we have just got. So let's go on. Now we basically have to calculate, we know that PA, so the P of lambda is going to be given by the determinant of uh, this matrix here that we have just found. So basically the determinant of 9 minus lambda, um, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, 8 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8, uh, minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, uh, 1, and negative 9 minus lambda. And now we just have to calculate the determinant of this very matrix. Um, so what do we do? Uh, Laplace. So basically, let me just write it and squeeze it here. Um, we have 9 minus lambda, uh, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 8 minus lambda, negative 1, uh, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8 minus lambda, negative 1, and then we have 1, negative 1, uh, 1, negative 9 minus lambda. I'm gonna choose this column. I'm gonna go down with the row one by one. So I'm gonna expand and do the same thing all over again. So nine minus lambda, negative one, one, one. And if you watch my video about um, how to calculate the determinant of a four by four matrix, you should be familiar with this procedure by now. Uh, so 1, negative 1, um, 1 and negative 9 minus lambda. So we go down one level. And we go on. Minus minus lambda, negative 1, 1, 1, 1, 8 minus lambda, negative 1, 1. 
negative 1, 1, negative 8, minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 9, minus lambda. If we go down one level more, then we are gonna go to the very last level. So 9 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, 1. Uh, 1, 8 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1. Negative 8 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 9 minus lambda. And we go down here. There we go. So now we can write our checkboard as we always do. With a sign. And since we choose uh, this one, this um, column, we're gonna highlight this column. All right. Um, so uh, th this one is gonna is gonna give us the sign. So the determinant of a, of well, not well, of this this new matrix that I'm gonna call a, even though it's no longer a, um, is gonna be given by one times uh, 1 because we have a positive value times the determinant of uh, what's left out uh, by what I have I have highlighted so this one this guy is here Plus, as always, a plus negative one because we have an m minus times the number we have here, so negative one times uh, the determinant of what's left out, so nine minus lambda negative one one negative one one negative one one negative one negative nine minus lambda. And then plus, uh, we have positive 1, so 1 times the number we have here, basically negative 8 minus lambda, times the determinant of what is left out, 9 minus lambda, negative 1, 1, 1, 8 minus lambda, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 9 minus lambda. Now we have plus um, a negative one because it's the very last one is we and we have a negative so negative one times one which is the number we have here times the determinant of what is left out so let me uh, I cannot squeeze it here uh, crap times nine minus lambda negative one 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 8 minus lambda 1 negative 1 1 negative 1 there we go so we just have to calculate with Cyrus uh, the determinant of 1 2 3 and 4 cosmetics here and then uh, we're gonna find the determinant um, so let's just do this And um, I'm going kind of fast, to be fair, because um, I'm not gonna talk about Cyrus and so on. You, you, I made uh, videos about that. Otherwise, this video is gonna be, you know, hours and hours long. All right. So the very first one is this one. So it's basically one eight minus lambda uh, one. Negative one one negative one 
uh, one negative one and negative nine minus lambda and now I'm gonna use Cyrus to calculate the determinant of this three by three matrix so one times one times negative nine minus lambda plus eight minus lambda uh, time negative one times one plus uh, one times negative one times negative one minus uh, one times negative one times negative one minus um, eight minus lambda times negative one times negative nine minus lambda minus uh, one times one times one there we go so this is actually going to give us uh, negative 9 minus lambda plus 8 minus lambda times negative 1 uh, plus 1 minus 1 minus negative 8 plus lambda times uh, negative 9 minus lambda minus 1. So we get negative 9 minus lambda minus 8 plus lambda minus uh, 72 plus 8 lambda minus line lambda minus lambda square minus one and so we get negative nine minus lambda minus eight plus lambda minus seventy two minus eight lambda plus nine lambda plus lambda square minus one and so lambda square plus lambda minus ninety so on we go with the second matrix which is 9 minus lambda minus 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, uh, 1, negative 1, negative 9 minus lambda. So Cyrus again, uh, we get 9 minus lambda times 1 times negative 9 minus lambda um, times. Um, I'm sorry, no, uh, plus negative 1 times negative 1 times uh, 1 plus 1 times negative 1 uh, times negative 1 minus 9 minus lambda times negative 1 times negative 1 minus negative 1 times uh, negative 1 times negative 9 minus lambda minus 1 times 1 times 1 because the other is the other diagonal right so we're basically gonna get negative 81 uh, minus 9 lambda plus uh, 9 lambda plus lambda squared plus 1 plus 1 minus 9 uh, plus lambda plus 9 plus lambda minus 1 so we get lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 80. There we go. Alright, um, so let's go on. Um, let's go on with the uh, third matri uh, matrix that we have uh, to calculate the determinant of. So 9 minus lambda, uh, negative 1, 1, 1, 8 minus lambda, 1. Uh, 1, negative 1, negative 9 minus lambda. This is actually gonna be, well, this is actually gonna be 9 minus lambda times 8 minus lambda times negative 9 minus lambda uh, plus negative 1 times 1 times 1 plus uh, 1 times 1 times negative 1 minus um, 9 minus lambda times 1 times negative 1 minus uh, negative 1 times 1 times negative 9 minus lambda uh, minus uh, 1 times 8 minus lambda times 1. Right? Uh, yeah, it's correct. So basically, this is gonna give us um, 72 minus 9 lambda minus 8 lambda plus lambda squared uh, times negative 9 minus lambda minus 1 minus 1 minus negative 9 plus lambda minus 9 plus lambda minus 
8 minus lambda. So this is actually going to give us uh, negative 648 minus 72 lambda plus 81 lambda plus 9 lambda squared plus 72 lambda plus 8 lambda squared minus 9 lambda squared minus lambda cube uh, minus 2 plus 9 minus lambda uh, minus 9 minus lambda minus 8 uh, plus lambda uh, so so so, so um, this one cancel out uh, this one cancel out and um, we have a 9 uh, and a negative 9 and uh, a negative lambda and plus lambda so we are left with a negative lambda square plus 8 lambda uh, a negative lambda cube plus 8 lambda square plus 80 lambda uh, minus 658 okay so off we go with the uh, with the last matrix so 9 minus lambda minus 1 1 1 8 minus lambda 1 negative 1 1 negative 1 so we'll start with again um, and we get uh, 9 minus lambda times 8 minus lambda times negative 1 uh, plus negative 1 times 1 times negative 1 uh, plus 1 times 1 times 1 minus uh, 9 minus lambda times 1 times 1 um, minus um, negative 1 times 1 times negative 1 minus 1 times 8 minus lambda times negative 1 so we get um, 72 minus 9 lambda uh, minus 8 lambda plus lambda squared um, times negative 1 uh, plus 1 uh, plus 1 minus 9 plus lambda minus 1 minus negative 8 plus lambda so this gives us uh, negative 72 plus 9 lambda plus 8 lambda minus lambda squared uh, plus 1 plus 1 minus 9 plus lambda minus 1 plus 8 minus lambda so um, uh, this one and this one cancel out and uh, we have a lambda and minus lambda so we're left with negative lambda squared plus 17 lambda minus 72 so now that we have found all the determinant of all these we can basically reconstruct our matrix our a and uh, substitute uh, the value we have found uh, with instead of these parentheses all right so basically a is going to be given by um, 1 times 1 uh, times the determinant of the first matrix so lambda square plus lambda minus 90 uh, plus negative 1 times negative 1 times lambda square plus 2 lambda minus 80 plus uh, 1 times negative 8 minus lambda times uh, negative lambda cube plus 8 lambda squared plus 80 lambda minus 658 uh, plus uh, negative 1 times 1 times negative uh, lambda squared plus 17 lambda minus 72 all right so this is actually uh, gonna give us uh, lambda squared plus lambda minus 90 plus lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 80 um, plus negative 8 minus lambda times uh, negative lambda cube plus 8 lambda squared uh, plus 80 lambda minus 658 plus lambda squared minus 17 lambda plus 72 okay so a our a is actually going to be well <laughs> Our a is actually going to be well. We get uh, lambda squared plus lambda minus ninety plus lambda squared plus two lambda minus eighty plus eight lambda cube um, minus sixty four lambda squared 
uh, minus 640 lambda plus 5264 uh, plus lambda fourth uh, minus 8 lambda cube minus 80 lambda square um, plus 658 lambda um, plus lambda squared minus 17 lambda plus 72 okay uh so we are actually gonna get uh lambda lambda 4 minus 141 uh, lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 5166 all right and now we're gonna go on because um we are just getting started as a matter of fact um, and the reason why I'm saying this and I'm speeding up is that um, by solving the uh, characteristical polynomial, which is this one, uh, solving the determinant, uh, we found a polynomial which is the uh, fourth grade, fourth grade, fourth uh, degree. I'm sorry. Um, so basically, we have to use the well, let me just rewrite down. So basically, we have found the PA of lambda. It's basically lambda four minus 141 lambda squared plus four lambda plus 5166. Um, so we have to use the general uh, equation for the quartic equation. Uh, so basically, uh, let me just call this A uh, to make things easier. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't have a B. Let me just rewrite it. Let me just rewrite this one as. Um, 1 uh, lambda 4 plus 0 lambda cube minus 141 lambda squared uh, plus 4 lambda plus 5166 so basically uh, this one is going to be my a this one is going to be my b this one is going to be my c uh, this one is going to be my d and this one uh, is going to be my e uh, so i'm going to use the uh, general equation for um, the quartic all right so um, the general equation for the quartic because we're gonna we, we want to find the eigenvalues here uh, and we are in the complex plane remember so I'm gonna get complex values um, eventually so basically uh, the, the general equation is a x4 plus b x cubed plus c x squared plus d x plus e equal to zero and in general uh, equation for the quartic is uh, x12 is going to be given by negative b over uh, 4a uh, minus s plus or minus uh, the oh i'm sorry i was almost making it google one half times the square root of um, minus 4 s square minus uh, 2 rho uh, plus 4 over s all right um, so an x 3 4 because we're gonna get 4 uh, lambda of course um, it's gonna be given by negative uh, b over 4 a plus s plus or minus 1 over 2 times square root of uh, negative 4 s squared minus 2 rho uh, minus 4 over s and uh, you may be wondering okay but what does what does those you know what does s mean what does rho mean and so on well we're gonna have to i'm gonna tell you uh, so basically rho is actually uh, 8 AC minus 3 B squared everything over 8 A squared uh, Q uh, and we are introducing something new here uh, because we need it for uh, the other so Q um, is gonna be given by uh, B cube minus 4 A B C plus A A squared D everything over 8 A cube S is going to be given by 1 over uh, 1 over 2 
times the square root of uh, negative 2 over 3 uh, rho plus 1 over 3a times q uh, capital q plus lambda and uh, delta i'm sorry uh, 0 over q capital q um, and capital Q is going to be given by uh, the cubic root of uh, lambda zero, uh, delta zero, I'm sorry, plus um, the square root of delta one minus four delta zero, uh, everything over two. And delta zero is going to be given by E um, by c uh, squared minus 3bd plus 12ae and uh, delta 1 is going to be given by 2e to the uh, e cube minus 3bcd uh, plus 27b squared e uh, plus 27ab squared minus 72ace. There we go. Uh, so let's compute this monster. Let's compute this monster. So basically, p uh, is, I'm sorry, rho, uh, which I call p by mistake, but anyway, uh, rho is actually going to be given by 8 times 1 times negative 141 minus 3 times uh, 0 squared, everything over. Uh, 8 times 1 squared. So it's actually going to be given by negative 1128 minus 0, averaging over 8. So negative 1128 over 8, so negative 141. Um, Q is going to be given by O cubed minus 4 times 1 times 0 times negative 141 plus 8 times 1 squared times 4 everything over um, 8 times 1 cubed uh, so basically 0 minus 0 plus 32 everything over 8 so 32 over 8 so 4 um, delta 0 which is going to be given by uh, negative 141 squared minus 3 times 0 uh, times 4 um, plus 12 times 1 times 1166 so it is actually going to be given by 19,881 minus 0 plus 6, uh, 61,892 uh, so 81,000 one uh, yeah 81,873 um, and uh, delta uh, 2 is going to be given by 2 times negative 141 cubed minus 3 times 0 times negative 141 um, times 4 plus 27 times so squared uh, times 500 1166 plus 27 times 1 times 4 squared minus 72 times 1 times negative 141 times 5166 uh, easy right <laughs> so um, this is actually a negative um, let me write it down negative uh, a little bit uh, negative uh, 50 500,662,442 uh, so 5,666,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6,662,442 -6
Minus four times eighty one thousand eight hundred and seventy three are uh, everything over two. So uh, this monster is actually gonna be uh, forty six three nine two three two plus the square root of uh, forty six eight three nine two 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 minus three two seven four nine two uh, everything over two um so what do we got we got uh, four six eight three nine two 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 the square root of uh, four six five one one seven thirty everything over two um so we basically have a uh, square root of uh, well of four six eight three nine two 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 uh, six eight one nine point ninety five. I'm approximating here because otherwise it's gonna be a mess. Uh, over two. So this gives us the cubic root of uh, two three four two three o oh, two o. Oh, Point ninety eight, uh, which is actually two hundred and eighty six point twelve. Okay, uh, so let's do this for s. So s is one over two times square root of negative two over three times negative one hundred forty one plus one over three times one times one hundred and eighty six point twelve plus Eight one eight seven three over two hundred and eighty six point twelve. Um, so what do we get? We got one over two times times ninety four plus one over uh, three times two hundred and eighty six point twelve plus two hundred and eighty six point twelve. Um, so we basically have 1 over 2 times 94 plus 1 over 3 times uh, 372.27 uh, so this gives us 1 over 2 times square root of 94 plus 572.27 everything over 3 um, so this is actually 1 over 2 times square root of 94 plus 190.75 uh, which is 1 over 2 times square root of 184.75 uh, which is 1 over 2 times 16.87 um, so 16.87 over 2 so it's 8.44 so we're now ready to find x12 and x34 uh, x12 is actually going to be given by uh, negative uh, 0 over 4, 4 times 1 minus 8.44 plus minus 1, point, 1 over 2 times and negative 4 times 8.44 squared minus 2 times negative 141 plus 4 over 8.44 um, so this is actually going to be uh, negative 0 minus 8.44 plus minus 1 over 2 times um, negative 4 times uh, 71.23 plus 282 plus 0.47 so this gives me negative 8.44 plus minus 1 over 2 times square root of negative 284 times